how much does it cost to live in Idaho Falls versus Salt Lake City? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Rebecca. I'm a realtor based here in Southeastern Idaho and I make videos every single week talking about all things life in Idaho Falls, tips for buying or selling here, things to do here, kind of just life in general as a wife and a mom and a realtor and a business owner because things get a little bit crazy sometimes and I just like to bring you guys along with me. But in today's video, I'm going to do another cost of living comparison. Haven't done one of these in a while and I realized that I've never done one comparing Idaho Falls versus Salt Lake City. That I feel like is a big comparison for people who are thinking about moving here. I feel like people are always asking me just kind of like between here and Salt Lake City and what the major differences are, what the pros and cons are. So I thought it might just be interesting to kind of compare some of the general cost of living statistics and like expenses that you can expect between Idaho Falls and Salt Lake City. So if you're curious, let's jump on in. So kicking off, I always like to start with the medium home, median home price in both places. Looks like the uh, median home price in Idaho Falls right now is about 360,000. In Salt Lake City, it's about 581,000. So obviously a pretty big difference there. And of course this has a lot of variables. It's taking the lowest lows to the highest highs. Salt Lake City, I mean, in general is more expensive than the Southeastern Idaho area, but it's also a bigger city. There's also more like tech jobs and things like that there. So there's a lot that go into that, but just to have in your mind, just so you know, for comparison's sake, there is about a $200,000 difference in the median home price right now. And this is as of mid-August, 2022. And then going off of that is rent. The median rent in Idaho Falls right now is about $730 a month. And the median rent in Salt Lake is about $1,200 a month. So again, a lot of factors that go into that, but just to give you a baseline, there's about a $500 price difference in the median rent uh, between the two places right now. Gas prices are another thing that I like to compare just to kind of give you an idea of one of those normal expenses. Looks like they're actually pretty similar right now. Idaho Falls, I think is about like 460 um, per gallon on average. Looks like Utah or uh, Salt Lake City is about like 460 to 470. So not a huge difference there. A loaf of bread. A loaf of bread on average will cost you 351 in Salt Lake City. It's about 293 in Idaho Falls electric bills. So the average monthly electric bill in Salt Lake is about $154. The average in Idaho Falls is about $120. So again, not a huge difference there. And obviously, again, there's a lot of factors that go into it depending on like your usage and the size of your house and all of those things. But just to keep in mind, not a huge difference, but a little bit there. And also another factor that I thought would be interesting to compare is the average cost of a doctor visit. Again, I feel like I don't need to say this, but just in case, there are so many factors that can make up how much a doctor's visit costs, depending on what you're there for and your health insurance and anything like that. But just to keep in mind, the average doctor's visit is about $120 here. In Salt Lake City, it's about $115. So obviously, slight difference there. I'm wondering if that's because, like I said, Salt Lake is obviously a much bigger city than the Idaho Falls area. So maybe just more competition, more doctors to choose from, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to do a quick little video, like I said, comparing the cost of living in those two places. I feel like at least for a lot of the people that I talk to, Salt Lake is kind of an option for them if they're considering the Idaho Falls, Southeastern Idaho, they're maybe wondering what living in the Salt Lake area might be like too. It's close, it's bigger. There are some pros and cons to that, obviously. So hopefully this just gave you a little bit more insight on the cost of living there compared to here. But yeah, if you guys have any questions on any of this or moving to Idaho or living here or whatever it may be, I am seriously happy to help with whatever questions that you have for me. So feel free to drop them below or shoot me an email, call me, text me, connect with me on social media, whatever you wanna do, I'm always happy to help. So till my next video, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.